Ropes. That makes more sense. So this... There's gum here. There's gum there. Okay, let's, let's give it to Mushy. Okay, go ahead. Mandy, this snap is directed at you. You know what this is for. Here we go. Inspiration for dinner. Talk to me. There's some smorza happening here today. Did I say it right? Yes, smorza. This is kind of exciting. <laughs> just a little, um, I'm just busting in on the mommy shorts. Hi, Maggie. Hi. We're so lucky to have Maggie here this week helping us. We're about to make matzo crunch. It's Aunt Debbie's recipe. Stay tuned. Sorry, what did you say we're making today, Luke? And Luke, you want to know whose recipe this is? Yeah. Auntie Debbie's. You knew it? Each chocolate take chips. chocolate chips. I want you to each take a piece of matzo. And I want you to eat, each put the matzo on the baking sheet. Perfect. And whoever's the big one, yeah. we hide it. <laughs> you can save one to hide, yeah. Now, can you fit your big pieces onto the tray? Fantastic. So guys, the, the matzo needs to lie flat on the tray. Would you like to take a piece off and eat some of it? Yeah. Maybe the little piece that's on top. Because that fits. Oh, now it's snack time. Perfect. Oh, yeah. You have two? Lucky you. Okie doke. So this recipe calls for two sticks of butter. And the kids are now unwrapping the butter and they're going to be cutting it up into chunks. All right, so Lukey is now cutting his butter into chunks. And then we're going to be melting the butter combined with brown sugar. Boy, you guys are really some fantastic chefs. Do you take cooking classes? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Do you take them together? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. All of these for the matzo. Are you guys taste testing the chocolate chips? Okie dokes, good enough. Now we're going to save that. That's okay. All right, Harlow, you got to finish cutting your butt. Okay. Okay. Okay, kitties. So what we're going to do now is melt our butter. Combine, so that was two sticks of butter. Okay, so now we've combined our two sticks of butter with one cup of brown sugar. And we're going to give it a nice stir and bring it to a boil without letting anything go. Awesome. What did you have for lunch? What did you have for lunch today, Luke? Anything you special? Have any lunch. You didn't have any lunch. Don't touch the pan. What are okay? these? Perfect. What are these for mommy? You know what? That's a great question, Luke. What? Those are post-it notes that Maggie made me so I know how much ingredients. Luke, you don't have any song to sing while you're stirring there? Really? I thought you usually sing like mix, mix, mix the sugar, mix, mix, mix the... So guys, after we pour the mixture onto the matzah and we let it bake for a few minutes, then we're going to take it out of the oven and we're going to top it with some really fun stuff. Do you want to know what? What'd you say? Chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. Yum! We're also going to use some dried fruit and some nuts. So you know what we're going to do with those. The white ones, we're gonna, you guys are going to get to take a bottle and drizzle it on. Oh. Okay, so we just removed our mixture from the heat and we're adding some vanilla and a pinch of salt. So we had to remove the kids from the equation because this is very hot. But now I'm pouring this mixture all over the matzah. It's now time for the oven. Auntie Debbie, you're the best. This recipe is so easy and I can't wait to eat it. Oh, I hear my timer going off. I'm going to check the matzo. Okay, kids? Nice talking to you. Nope, definitely not ready yet. But boy, look at those bubbles. Okay, back in the oven we go. Is taking out the matzo. Wow. Wow, 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 and wow. Here we go. Gone. Excellent. And get it all over the matzo, not just in the same spot. Everywhere, yeah. Nice. Excellent work. Feel free to take your cup, Harlow. Yeah, definitely taste test. And just pour it all over. Or just smear it all 
Okay, guys, how are we doing with our um, task at hand here? Okay, let's keep pouring all over. This guy needs some love here. Excellent, Luke. Oh, now we're talking. Okay. Good work, guys. Excellent. Now, you know what's going to happen now? The chocolate's going to get all nice and melted, and we're going to spread it all around the matzo. Okay, so Luke quit. Now it's me and Harlow. And we are going to spread the chocolate all around. I'm just adding a few more chocolate chips. Okay guys, Ooh. our chocolate is melting beautifully. So we are now spreading it all over the matzah, all the way to the edges. <laughs> How awesome is this, Harlow? Perfect. So we're now adding our toppings. We've got some sliced almonds. We've got dried apricots, dried cranberries. Okay, keep going. Keep, keep topping away. I want to maybe break. So Auntie Debbie, something I'm kind of annoyed about. It is very hard to find crushed pistachios here. Actually impossible, so we don't have them. You know why Harlow gets to go first, Luke? Because she's our guest. And that's how it works. Right? And then you're going to get to go. What, Harlow? Because at home, Pookie's coming to my house. Exactly. And then he'll be the guest. Right. What are you doing? Ooh, careful. Let's not spray that on Harlow. <laughs> what kind of party, Harlow? A pancake party. A go ahead and taste it. Harlow just told me that tomorrow her and Lukey are having a pancake party at our summer house. Am I invited? Yeah. Great. Okay, I'm going to finish up here. And we're going to drizzle. Ooh la la. Wow. This is a workout. Auntie Debbie, what do you think? Not as pretty as yours, but close. Next up is Afi Komen Crafting. We got all these supplies from Imagination Lane. We just have to wait for Gavin and Mazzy to get home from Hebrew school. Now guys, I have to go to Gavin's Hebrew school for a Passover sing-along. Lucky me. Oh, yeah, you got to keep that in. It sticks to the back because you're going to yeah, be putting so cool. much glue and stuff on it, you don't want it to stick to the back side. Okay, so you just dab a little glue on and then you stick on your jewels and your stars. You want me to help you, Harlow? No, you know. A family. She's your party. Party is a family day. It's family day. You know what? There's Kathleen with the pizza, which is not kosher for Passover, but shh, this is, it's not Passover yet.
You know what? I agree this is your best craft. I actually think this is all of your best craft yet. I'm very impressed. You're taking this very seriously, which I love. Adam, this child I just proved has your brain. He wanted green puffy paint, so he just mixed blue and yellow to make green. We brought out the puffy paint, and this little glob here might be dry by Passover 2017. Avoiding the white pit. Mince the rind to get two teaspoons of zest. Two teaspoons is a lot. Or use a zest. It is a lemon pasta. We just had an incident with some Parmesan cheese. It wasn't good, guys. It wasn't good. But um, it is what it is, and we'll move on with our life. Ooh, this is getting so foggy because of the steam. So we're making a cavatelli and um, breadcrumb and lemon pasta. Bye. We just had a lot of intense steps here. So after this pan, you have to add half the reserved cooking water, which is over here. On it. Okay. And oh. then you have to, if you think you should put more lemon, then but put more lemon. I don't know if you're supposed to save lemon and then put Yeah, that's for, it's just for um, garner. So you could put it now if you want. Oh, okay. So go ahead, they're behind you. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Pam just added pepper to the pan. I'm not sure you understand what that means, but it was a big day here. I'm growing up. <laughs> The end. Damn it, this looks good.